Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Dark Paladin 70 with 1,274 rating versus David Passini with 1,464 rating. So it's going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. So we're going to see a few ties, and then David will win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 50 versus 40. Opening hands, you have Super Poly, Squamata, Schism, Nib, and Knight. So... You know, we had this player on the channel, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday or the day before. Uh, so, like, we pretty much know their deck list. Uh, it's 50 cards, Shadal. Um, there's no Invoked in it, but there are some Dogmatica. They have Roshi, Talon, City, Desires, GG. So it's Virtual World versus Shadal. I wonder what their Super Poly is going to go into against this deck. Um, they're going to activate City, go ahead bring out Chuchi. And then activate GG, uh, GG target, dump Chinglong, special summon, activate desires to go banish and draw. And this will be drawing into a Roshi and Lulu. Okay, nah, I mean, not bad. Like, you don't really want to draw Roshi, but I mean, it's whatever there. Uh, looking at the banishes, we can see uh, two Chinglong and a Nian go down. So now they have no Chinglong in deck. Um,. And they also hit both cities too, and they have no cities left in deck, which means they have no spells left in deck to send with their virtual worlds, which is actually really big. So they're going to activate Lulu, Lulu target Chuchi. See, they can't like send spell, go grab monster. They can send Nian and summon Lulu, and then get rid of those, go for Coral Dragon, banish Chinglong, go search out Kirin, discard. So they decided to risk playing into nib to get the extra draw maybe because they have talents um, on summon activate nib so, you know if they wanted to when they had like lulu and gg they could just banish chinglong go search kieran discard kieran target go down chuchi chuchi up lulu by three turn those into zulkin that's fourth summon set talents crystal wings the fifth play around nib but they decided not to um then they're going to go ahead and activate Talents, look at hand, hits the Super Poly. And then activate Roshi, Roshi, go dump Lulu, summon, special summon back out from the graveyard. Maybe there's a world where, like, you don't hit Super Poly and you just hit Squamata. Is that a thing? Because that also makes, like, the Schism not do anything. Go for Charge Warrior. Uh, Neon Charge Warrior, draw, put back, probably put back Ching Long. Yeah. And then they're going to overlay these, um, go for M7, and then activate M7 effect. Also, they probably shouldn't be putting this up in the extra monster zone, because they're going up against Shadals, and they have Gravity Controller. Gravity Controller can bounce and out. But they're going to use the effect, go grab back Roshi. I guess they're probably like, oh, if they have Construct, like, Construct would just beat over this anyways. So, maybe that's what their thought process is. Um, but it could also be Apcolon that wouldn't be able to beat over. They draw E-Telly, and then they're going to activate Knight. Okay, well, if they're going for M7, then I guess hitting, uh, yeah, it's like they had a light on board anyways. Yeah, they probably just didn't want to risk them top decking a Shadal. Um, so, they're going to go ahead and Knight, summon that out. And then just go battle phase. Uh, the token has zero. They're going to attack M7 with Nib. Activate Chuchi to pop Nib. Go ahead and out that. So then they're going to attack the M7. And they're going to drop with that. Activate E Telly, summon out. E Telly, summon out Wendy. Uh, Wendy, beat over the token. Main phase two. Yeah, the, the hand Lulu, Roshi, then normal summon, turn those into an Anaconda. Then they're going to activate Anaconda effect, pay 2,000, go dump, dump Fusion Destiny and those. <clears throat> summon out Enforcer, Enforcer effect, pop itself an M7, Enforcer graveyard effect, set schism, pass. Draws the Imperm, um, Enforcer comes out. They don't have like a Ching Long in Graveyard or anything. Um, looking at the banishes. Okay. So, 
They are going to start this off by activating Lulu, target Chuchi in response, Chain Enforcer, go ahead, pop Chuchi, Enforcer Graveyard effect, then Normal Summon Lulu, Roshi effect, target, Chain Schism, Schism will go ahead, banish, summon Winda, and then they are going to dump Qinglong special. Uh, they can't summon back with this because it's summon and then summon back. It's kind of like long. It's actually the same as long young versus Winda. Uh, Lulu attack over the Anaconda and then passes. If you set Imperm, then Enforcer will just pop it. You may as well save this for your next turn. They're going to have to draw like desires though into some insane draws or something like that uh they draw driver um they don't want to dash or summon it because then enforcer can't come back out because of window tribute window for driver um celestial banish draw draws into el shadal and gamma which is a good well el shadal not bad but gamma is bad uh, they're going to banish. El Shadal is actually fine. That's a fine draw. Uh, go for Construct. Construct effect to go dump. Construct will go ahead and dump Hedgehog. Hedgehog, go grab Squamata. And then they admit the fee. Yeah, realizing that this game. Going on to the next game. We are going to see this player go ahead and go first. Opening hands, we have Wendy, Foolish, Nib, Fusion Destiny, Knight. And that is okay. I mean, they have Fusion Destiny. Um, they have City, Lulu, Chuchi, Desires, Qinglong. So they're going to start this off by activating Foolish. Uh, Foolish go dump Squamata. Squamata will then go ahead and dump Beast. Beast draw. You know, Foolish equals upstart. Yeah, that's a pretty good upstart. <laughs> uh, activate Fusion Destiny. Go ahead and dump. And then summon out Enforcer. Natter Servant. Nether Servant will now go ahead, dump Apcolone, grab Ecclesia, Apcolone effect to go search, so that was Schism, and then discard, discard the Ecclesia. Uh, you don't want to, if you discard Wendy, you can't use it because you're under Fusion Destiny. So they're just going to discard Ecclesia. Um, choosing that set Wendy is better than like discard Wendy, summon now Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect, go search maybe something like a punishment, maybe they set it out because they're going second, they thought that they were going second, uh, but it also turned the knight on because you'd have a Dogmatica, but all right, they decided to do that, uh, pass, draw, draw, knock, bird, not, not, not very good now, I mean, it, it could do stuff in the future still, they're gonna city, bring out Chuchi, could also just be discard fodder, activate Qinglong, Qinglong banish city target in response chain enforcer pop chuchi and then enforcer graveyard effect then up next they're gonna activate lulu um in response chain schism this is really really good because they already used their Qinglong so they're gonna dump trap summon go search out gg activate desires does desire see an out to it is this gonna be a quick game See, oh, we see Dark Ruler there. Yeah, oh, they draw Dark Ruler. They're insane. Yeah, they can keep playing. Literally, they, oh, that's wild. Um, all right, well, I guess we can actually look at the banishes now that it's not just like game. Oh, we see two Roshi and a Nian go down there. Then uh, they're going to have Dark Ruler. Well, can't do that. Yeah, I said my bad. Activate Dark Ruler. Then go ahead and activate Kieran. Uh, so Kieran will go ahead and dump to summon. Uh, dumping the Qinglong, Chuchi to up the level of Lulu, and then get rid of those. Go into the Zulkin, summon three, set Chuchi, Zulkin effect, summon Crystal Wing. Then activate GG, target, spell, go down Monster, banish Qinglong, go search out Roshi, discard Droll. They forgot to discard off of that. Are they going to remind them? I think they just clicked that drool. They didn't, did they? No. Okay, well, they just forgot to discard off Ching Wong. This honestly happens a lot. Okay, yeah, okay, there, there we go. Uh, then they're going to Nian someone himself back. Then turn those into Muddy Mud Dragon. Nian effect, go ahead, put back. 
Mud Dragon, go for Dragoon, turn those into a Shen Shen, go to Battle Phase, uh, Crystal Wing, Attack Winda. Um, yeah, there's no damage this turn, because Dark Ruler. Shen Shen, Attack Wendy, Wendy Effect. Um, so I have to play around Nib. Okay, so they're going to let that go. And that's going to set to Komata. Uh, they can't attack this, otherwise they just pop Crystal Wing. And once again, they're just playing in the Nib. So then they may as well have just stopped the Wendy. Maybe they weren't expecting multiple Squamata. But they could have also just been a shit all Dragon. And it really would have just done the same thing. So, they're going to try to pass there. Um, on end of main phase 2, they're going to activate Knight. Please don't tell me they negate this. No! <laughs> no respect for Nib. They respected it before, but then didn't. You can't. If you, if you decide to respect a card, you have to continue to respect it. You can't just respect it at that moment and then not respect it five seconds later because that, that stuff's starting to happen. Um, so then they're going to get to end phase, add back Lulu, draws Math Man, Enforcer comes out. Enforcer effect the pop. They're going to chain Chu Chi, uh, try to target Nib, chain Schism. Schism will now go ahead, banish Nib, banish Beast, go for Construct, send the Nib token. Chu Chi sends back, it was still shuffles back even though Nib was already outed by schism um and then the hero will go ahead and pop the squamata and Shinglong. now they're going to get squamata and construct effect Celine cross access code said just play fair enough uh, go ahead dump set normal math man math man dump dragon dragon out rush flip rush effect special summon back yeah, that's game. They said GG's. They didn't say GG's. They played the Nib. Oh, they were, they were like, oh, I have to respect Nib. They, they said it. Have to play around Nib. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that was at 33, or 30 minutes and 38 seconds. And then, <laughs> literally like three minutes later, they were like, you know what? We're not respecting that. But, alright, um, that is going to be it for the video. Um, make sure to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and the DB Grinder, signing off, peace, have a nice day, stay safe.